In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quick and easily solo mine Casper V2. Casper V2 is a new K heavy hash fork of Casper that this one has a little bit of a twist to it in that instead of having kind of that massive reward reduction that we see with Caspa, this actually has more of a reward doubling. So you start with a lower reward per block and then over time that increases. And this just launched pretty much main net not too long ago. And so uh, all the code was posted to GitHub today. And so this is kind of our first shot at actually solo mining it in mainnet. So as you can see, the release was four hours ago. So this is relatively new. And uh, there is, if you hop on over to their GitHub, they have basically the daemon and then the wallet, which is the Casware wallet. However, there's no stratum or anything, but that's okay because I went ahead and I created a generic K-heavy hash uh, based stratum tool. So what you can do with my Docker container is you can run it on any K heavy hash coin. And I'm actually already running this on all of the coins. So what we have is a I hop on over to the mining pool server I'm running. You can see that I've got the Bugna stratum, the Caspa stratum, the brick stratum. These are all running the same Docker image. And so what we're able to do is we're able to leverage that same Docker image and spin up a Caspa V2 stratum. You can see I actually have it uh, running on a system right now. It's just waiting for the blockchain to sync. And so I'm going to show you how to set this up today. It looks like we're about 75% synced right now. So super easy. If you followed my Cedra video or my Bugna video or my Caspa video, it is pretty much the same thing. Uh, there's actually only a couple commands you need to run to get this up and running. So we're going to start off with the node and to get the node running, we're just going to do sudo docker run. And again, you need to have Docker installed. If you don't, uh, we're going to be doing this in Ubuntu, pretty much a base image. You just do sudo, sudo apt install docker.io. That'll get you up and running with Docker. And then you can do a sudo docker run. We're going to run it detached network of host restart always max log file of 10 megs. We're naming it cast V2. We are mapping it to a .cast v2 d folder. Make sure you map that to slash root slash .cast to uh, cast v d2. And then we're using the cast v2 image. So we're gonna go ahead and run this. This is gonna spin up the Docker container. And then that's gonna start syncing the blockchain node. And then we need to spin up the actual stratum that is gonna be connected to that node. And to do that, we're going to do a sudo docker run, detach, network host, restart always, uh, max log size of 10 as normal. We're naming this v 2 stratum. We're using our generic K heavy hash uh, stratum that I created. We're running this on 5560. You can run the stratum on whatever port you want. The node, this is the node we're connecting to. v 2 runs on port 21110. So that is what we're connecting to. And we're running the Prometheus stats on a different port. Just make sure that none of these ports conflict with uh, other K heavy hash stratums you may be running. We're gonna go ahead and hit enter. This is gonna download that stratum and start that up. So now if we hop on over to Dozzle and we'll take a look at our demo server that we're running this thing on. We now have v 2 blockchain and it is doing the header level stuff. Uh, so it will, we'll let that sit for a few minutes. And if we hop on over to the v 2 stratum, we can see that it is waiting for the node to sync. So once this node is synced, we'll be able to point our miner to this port and solo mine it. Now, as far as a wallet goes, there is a web wallet you can use and it's hosted at wallet.caspa-v2.services. So if you hop on over here, you can create a wallet from this. It's going to look just like any other K-heavy hash Caspa-based web wallet. And so I've already created one. We're going to go ahead and log into it. And as you can see, I really just created this. So there are no transactions yet. 
but we're going to double check and see if our other chain is fully synced yet on our other node. Test V2. And it looks like we're about 87%. So we're going to let this finish syncing. And once it's fully synced, we're going to connect our miner to it. This stratum should show that it's fully synced and it's ready for connections. The node is now fully synced. So we just went from still syncing to fully synced. And at this point, it's ready for us to connect a miner to. So we're going to hop on over to our wallet, grab our wallet address, then hop on over. This is a ice river KS zero pro. Let's go ahead and hop over to mining. We're going to change the port to five, five sixty, and we're going to put in our cast V two wallet address. And this is KS zero pro three. Go ahead and hit save. I went ahead and connected three KS zero pros to it. And we can see we are getting shares. They just connected. So now we're just going to wait a little bit and see if we can hit some blocks and verify that those blocks are resulting in rewards in our wallet. All three miners have been mining to the solo stratum for about 30 minutes or so now. Uh, it looks like just under 30 minutes. And it looks like we've hit three blocks so far. So we're going to hop on over to our wallet. And we can see we've got three rewards, all of one cast V2. So keep in mind, as I mentioned earlier, that the tokenomics on this coin are kind of the opposite of Caspa. So it starts with a really low block reward in the beginning, and that block reward will just increase over time. And so for this one, we're expecting pretty low rewards. So just keep in mind, the earlier you mine this, the lower the block reward's going to be. Uh, so this kind of introduces uh, an interesting dynamic in that you get more of that scarcity up front. So in the event they do get listed on an exchange, uh, this is one of those coins that it might list higher and then the price may drop over time. And that's just to be expected because there's going to be more coins in circulation as more time goes along. Uh, a lot of coins will get scarcer in emissions. This one actually um, becomes less scarce with emissions. So just something to keep in mind if you do decide to mine this one.